The early 20th century was a time of real experiment, with designers racing to make their next dream a reality. Various flying car prototypes have emerged over the past century, including Stefan Klein's previous concepts, but nothing comes quite as close to Klein Vision's latest proposition. While the first flying car patent was filed at the end of World War I, it's taken a whole century to contend with the various regulatory setbacks, as well as to perfect the design. Footage of Slovakian company Klein Vision's air car has emerged recently, showing the flying car make a successful voyage into the three dimensional airspace. The video shows the car transforming into a plane, which we're told is done by the touch of a button inside the cockpit. Onboard computers control the transformation automatically, fixing the flying appendages into place ready for flight. The whole process takes less than three minutes. After the car can be seen driving onto the runway at Piastani Airport, Slovakia, it comes to a halt and begins its metamorphosis. Different camera angles show the complex automated process as the car lengthens and two wings emerge from the main body. Once fully transformed, it accelerates down the runway, takes off and performs a test flight around the airfield, accompanied by a conventional plane which likely was providing an alternative point of view for both safety and camera footage. The air car lands smoothly, comes to a stop once more, and the flying gear retreats back into the body before the car drives off, simulating the driver continuing his journey. The company prides itself on the car's ability to both fly and drive. Co-founder Anton Zajac said, With Aircar, you will arrive at your destination without the hassle of getting a ride to an airport and passing through commercial security. You can drive your Aircar to the golf course, the office, the mall or your hotel and park it in a normal parking space. This fusion of two types of transport is expected to save prospective owners a lot of time. The company was faced with a real challenge incorporating the tail into the design, which provides longitudinal stability in the air. When in flight mode, it generates enough lift to take the car off the ground, but in car mode, we're told it's been engineered to provide the necessary downforce to keep the wheels glued to the road. Cars can be designed virtually in any way possible, and they will still be able to drive. But for an aeroplane to fly, a super slick aerodynamic body is required. Equally, while many cars weigh upwards of two tons, it will be a huge engineering effort to lift this weight into the air, which is why Kleinvision kept the weight to a minimum. At just 1,100 kilograms, it's lighter than many road-going cars without the added flying gear. The company claims an additional 200 kilograms can be added, the weight of two people and some light gear. Although we don't know what the air car is made of, we can expect use of some really light materials like carbon fiber and composite materials. As you would expect, the project has undergone immense research and development, including countless simulations and calculations. Since October 2019, the prototype has undergone intense ground and flight tests to ensure maximum safety as well as efficiency. Power comes from a BMW 1.6-litre six-cylinder motorcycle engine, which produces 140 horsepower. While these engines are capable of upwards of 50 miles per gallon in their road-going forms, Kleinvision's estimates for the fuel consumption in flight mode are a little thirstier. We're told that an estimated range of 1,000 kilometres or 620 miles can be possible, while averaging 18 litres per hour. The company is awaiting certification of a South African built engine that goes under the name Adapt Air Motive, which should help the air car achieve a top airspeed of some 185 miles per hour. Currently, after transforming, the air car accelerates up to 125 miles per hour and takes off in around 300 meters. Klein Car sees this car appealing to various people. Its primary use, in leisure, would see owners driving to work, then flying to holiday destinations. Another use would be in the commercial world of private transport. These air taxis would be able to transport people to their business meetings in the city before returning to their countryside dwelling, for example. Although in a usable state, the air car remains a prototype, which means one thing. The company expects to find flaws and to add new features. What we see today is far from the final design. In the future, the company is not ruling out three or four seaters, making room for the entire family. In the near future, a similar model will arrive with some 300 horsepower, while more time will reveal a twin engine model with improved flying propulsion. Klein Vision doesn't just want to occupy the ground and the air, though. Concept images show amphibious models, too. We're unsure whether the company will succeed to add these capabilities into a car that's light enough to take to the air, too, or whether the amphibious model will be an entirely different range. A quote on Klein Vision's website by a Yahoo News writer expects the flying car market to be worth $1.5 trillion by 2040. Although not a fraction of the value of the road-going automotive market, this is a huge jump from today's situation. The industry will remain to be in its infancy by this time. It's likely that we won't see flying cars as household commodities until the end of the century, but what's important is that work has already started. Examples have already emerged from many corners of the globe, including Toyota-backed Cartivator, whose goal it was to light the 2020 Summer Olympics torch with its hovering car. 
Airplane manufacturer Airbus and even ride-sharing platform Uber have even expressed an interest in this market. Company founders Klein and Zajac expect to perform 50 hours of flight testing before pushing the air car into the hands of the public as early as next year. Although Zajac believes a further 2 million euros will be required for the certification alone, and at least that much again for its big launch. US state New Hampshire was the first state to legalize flying cars earlier this year. Although, as you'd expect, there are many restrictions with which to conform. Not least strict pre-flight checks, which will be a must because unlike on road-going cars, a small dent from an innocent collision with a pillar in the parking lot can prove fatal to the aerodynamics when in flight mode. In keeping with the crazy proposition is the crazy price tag. There's been no word on pricing yet, but we do know that the company's previous prototype was estimated to be worth around 1 million euros. Could this be the start of a new era of transport? Only time will tell.